Hi guys. Thank you for showing up. Uh, KC Durango here. I talk about the ketogenic diet. Oop, my water bottle popped. And how I've lost 97.4 pounds on the ketogenic diet. And I love to talk with others about how they may be able to lose weight, improve their health, and regain control of their lives. Um, I hope we're all hooked up here. Um, okay, oh, thank you, you guys, for showing up. Ellie, Vicki, can you guys hear me? Okay, it looks like everything's moving. That is great. Thank you so much. Today's topic, keto triage. What do we mean by that? Um, hey, my hashtag my friend Jen, yo, 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 in the house. Um, keto triage. Do, it, do you guys know what triage is in general? I bet you the nurses here do, and I put, if there are any first responders, uh, emergency room doctors or nurses, uh, you know what triage is. Triage is when you essentially order, order things uh, in, in magnitudes of importance. So if you're in an emergency room and uh, a bunch of, you know, three ambulances come in after some tragedy, some accident has happened and you've got seven people, um, first of all, you figure out which ones you, you can help and which ones need the help first. If it's just one person comes in and they've you know, got a terrible you know, bone sticking out of their leg and they've got abrasions on their face and everything, what do you do first? If they're bleeding profusely, you stop the bleeding, right? You take care of the most important thing first. You take care of the most detrimental thing first. That which is hurting the patient and puts the patient at greatest risk first. So what does that have to do with keto? There is understandably a great deal of confusion about how to make the ketogenic diet work for, for you as an individual. Um, there's confusion, some of it is by design, some of it is by people who are, are hoping that they can um, convince you to buy a supplement or a pill or a device or something that will make it easy. You know, I saw one, there was somebody, apparently one of the nutrition supplements is carb blockers. No, not a thing. Um, so there's confusion. What do I do? So I've got to keep my carbs low and I need to eat X number of grams of protein and I need to eat X number of grams of fat. I need to make sure these calories are met. I need to make sure that I'm getting my fat in. I need to make sure that I'm in ketosis. I'm up. That's a lot to take in. If what you really need to do right now, if, you're, if the main thing that is a detriment to you, um, okay, I'm seeing people sound. Has everyone got sound? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Um, if the main thing to you is I need to get off of these medications, they are taking over my life. If that's the main thing, that's your stop the bleeding thing. So how do you get to that point? In regards to the ketogenic diet, reduce your carbs. That is the ketogenic equivalent of putting a tourniquet on or, you know, binding the wound. Stop the bleeding. Get your carbs reduced. Ideally, you want them 20 grams or fewer a day. Total, not net particularly if you've got a lot of bleeding going on. You know, if that bone is sticking out of your thigh this far, keep your carbs really low. Don't screw around with net carbs. And guess what is, is, is fewer than 20? Zero, five. You don't have to have at least 20 grams of carbs. Stop the bleeding. Keep your carbs low. In a medical emergency where there's bone sticking out or a gaping hole or a gunshot wound or something, you don't worry about fine tuning the recovery scar and making sure a cosmetic surgeon comes in and makes very delicate stitches. You wait, you tweak, you tweak that recovery, right? Stop the bleeding. Get your carbs down. Don't mess with all the tweaking at the beginning. Understandably, many of us will overcomplicate this because many people tell you it's very complicated. 
It's not. Ignore the pie chart. You know what I'm talking about. Those of you who have listened to me for a while know what I'm talking about. M-O-N-C-R-O-S. Don't do it. Okay? Keep your carbs low. And, you know, depending on your insulin resistance, depending on many different factors, you know, it might take you a few days to get over the challenge of reducing your carbs. If your carb, if your if your food intake has been 80% carbohydrate, which is not even out of the realm of possibility in in this day and age, that's tons of glucose coursing through you. Your, your liver has processed a lot of carbs into sugar, glucose. It's going to take a minute. It's going to take a few days. So get through that. Don't worry about the grams of protein, the grams of fat, the cut calories. Keep your carbs low. Stop the bleeding. When you get to the point, say, whoa, okay, you know, I, I'm pretty sure I'm in ketosis because I've lost my appetite. You don't have to measure for ketosis if you don't want to. I enjoyed it, particularly at the beginning. My first motivator, I said this the other day on Facebook, my, my first motivator was turning those keto sticks pink. I didn't care how pink. Light pink equals dark purple. It's like pregnancy. Uh, that was motivating for me. But you don't have to do that if you don't want to invest in them, if you're going to believe the people who say they don't work. That's cool. You don't need them. If you want to invest in a blood meter, uh, the meter itself is not particularly expensive, but the strips, the ketone test strips are pricey. Great. But you don't need any of that. Is your appetite going? Are you not feeling hungry? Do you realize, wow, I skipped lunch today, I didn't even think about it. Um, do you have more energy? And in a couple of weeks, do your joints not hurt? That's when, okay, I'm in ketosis. I've got this thing going. I stopped the bleeding. Now, what's the next step? Let's start tweaking this. Let's start, you know, what am I eating? How, you know, am I losing inches? Am I losing weight? Is my... Am I, do I need to talk to my doctor about reducing some medications? Is my, is my blood sugar now dropping too low because I'm taking medications, but the diet is dropping my glucose, and so now I need to talk about that. So move forward. Educate yourself. Tweak. Listen to your body. Don't listen to my body. Don't listen to any other talking head. Listen to your body. If I listened to the charts and the graphs and the recommended caloric intake and the, you know, all that stuff, I would not be a happy person right now. It would not be effective for me. The last two days, I ate very little food. I wasn't hungry. The previous two days, I'd eaten a good amount of food. Today, I ate a very big breakfast, and I may or may not eat later. I'm listening to my body's needs. Listen to your body's needs, which is so much easier to do once you stop the bleeding. When you get out of that carbohydrate fog, and it is a fog, guys. It's fog. When you get out of that and the fog lifts, then you can start listening and hearing your body. That's when you find in. So that's my little spiel about keto triage. I hope it made some sense. Um, okay. I am looking at some comments. I love that you guys talk to each other. Um, <laughs> Eden Blue, taking a break at work to watch. Thank you. Love your message. Wow. Don't let the boss see. Unless maybe your boss needs some help burning some body fat. Um, Hey, Wanda, thank you for your very sweet message to me just a little while ago. Wanda is a great success story, and she has a heart as big as Georgia. So thank you very, very much. She's been a great success. Um, okay, now, a little housekeeping. Um, first of all... We got some little keto Casey merchandise. We got the magnet. By the way, for those of you who've gotten magnets, there is a, a little film on it that you can pull off. 
it looks like it's kind of the magnet itself is ripping, but pull off the film. This is a magnet that says, you know, are you here out of hunger or habit? And if hunger is not your problem, food is not the solution. Words to live by. And big mug, little mug, wine glass, magnet. You can go to my blog, kcdurango.com. I don't know that I'm going to restock any of the merchandise, but it's been fun to, um, to send it out to people. And a lot of people take pictures and put it on Facebook or Instagram, their, their mug. Um, it's, it's great. All right, next thing. I want to talk about, now for those of you who are disinterested in this, I apologize. Um, there is a Facebook group that I started called Keto After 40 and Beyond. This is a group, not my, my Facebook page, which is Go Keto with Casey. And um, I have closed it to new members. There was a little consternation about that. I'm not trying to be ugly, but um, it, it was taking up hours of my day. And while I think it's a worthwhile cause, uh, it, it's got over 35,000 members, and that's plenty. So I, for now, I've closed it to new members. All membership requests will be declined. People will leave for a variety of reasons, and if membership gets down to the point, I might open it back up, you know, we'll see. But if you have any concerns about that, feel free to ask me. But um, it's, it's for no other reason other than it has become unmanageable for me, and I have obligations that I need to see to. Um, that which uh, brings me to something. I hope you guys, I, you know, I've, I've talked a lot about getting exercise, and every night, I say, tomorrow's the day I'm going to start the exercise. And then every morning, I say, today's the day I'm going to do the exercise. And then I go back to every night and I say, tomorrow's the day I'm going to start the exercise. Well, today, I'm joining the gym. There's a very great facility at um, my alma mater. And it's real, it's brand new, very good facility, excellent deal money-wise. So I'm going and I'm signing up. So I'm doing that today. Next step will be to actually go there. We know that, you know, first step is good. Next step is to go to the gym. I don't know how many of you exercise. The, the question comes up a lot. My pat phrase is I don't exercise. I just dress like I do. Today I'm not even dressed like I exercise. I don't even do that. Um, it is not necessary and in some cases not even necessarily recommended when you start the ketogenic diet, depending on your physical condition. Uh, to exercise, it, it is a punitive thing to ask a very, or tell a very heavy person, just move more, just get out. You know, you can jog a half a mile. No, I can't. Okay, I'm really heavy. It hurts. It's not even good for me. It hurts my joints. It's punitive to ask very heavy people to just move more. When, when just existing hurts, forget about moving more. But I do want to exercise for strength, bone density, toning up, increasing my core, helping my posture. So that's what I'll be looking for. I'm intending to swim and do some resistance exercises and things like that. So not that any of y'all care about that, but I just wanted to say, because you've heard me say enough that you don't need to exercise and that every day I'm gonna start exercising, but today's the day. Um, okay, let me look at this um, stream here. Kelly Lassen, good afternoon. Good afternoon back at you. Um, Liz Brem, I've put on six pounds, but I keep losing inches. Let me tell you what, guys, there's something, there's something in the air. Over the last week, I'm probably up four and a half pounds. Now, that's not a big deal anyway, but on my frame now, four and a half pounds is a gracious percentage. It's back down this morning uh, somewhat. I'm, I know I'm retaining water. I don't really know why. Uh, it is hot, but, you know, I'm in an air-conditioned environment most of the day. There was a full moon, and I think there's something to that. So, anyway, it's water. It's going to swoosh out. Anybody else had kind of unexplained weight gain that is, I know it's not fat. I know I've not put on muscle. I know I've not put on bone. I know I haven't put on hair. <laughs> If anything, my hair is continuing to disappear, not because it's falling out, but because I keep getting it cut shorter and shorter. It's water, and it'll adjust. The body knows what it needs. Um, okay, uh, 
Vicky G from Southeast Washington, my weight chart looks more like an EKG, but trend is down, so all is good. Yeah, that trend, if you can get a trend line, um, if you're a patron of mine, you can, yeah, I think it's $5 patron, you get access to my, a, a Google version of my spreadsheet, and the trend line is actually something I look at. So the trend line says if the next two weeks were like the last two weeks, this is where you'd be, or this is where you'd be, or this is where you'd be. I look at the trend line as much as anything. Uh, Dr. Father Napier, you gained two pounds. Dr. Stephen Finney says that the human body can easily go up or down two pounds in a day, which is a four pound spread, which is why I didn't freak out about putting on weight. I know it's water. Um, also this thing, I cracked the heck out of my foot. I mean, I know I broke, uh, probably, bro probably broke my pinky toe and did something to the one next to it. And I got all swelled up in my foot. Um, and that, who knows, that could have, because it hurt. Uh, there could have been a cortisol reaction. It could just be something, who knows, full moon, cracked toe, Facebook drama, ugh, all kinds of things. Gene O'Connor, I've slowed down to losing only half a pound a week. And it's a half a pound a week, Ms. Jean, right? Ms. Jean, is, I don't think she minds me sharing. Used to be in a bed. Gene O'Connor. I re someone sent me a personal message. I suggested they contact you. It's a woman who felt, I think you can help her. She's in her 60s. She's been bed bound. She's diabetic. She is trying to, you know, get to the point where she has some mobility. I think she's out of bed, but I, I suggested she reach out to you. I hope that's okay. Susan Cosmos. Hey, oh, went by too fast, Susan. Uh, Shirley Arisaga, my feet swell. Yeah, my feet have swollen. I can, can you almost do this? Can you almost feel, feel your feet and lower legs filling up with water? It's like someone turns on a little tap. I already have cankles. It's just the way I am. Um, but I can, I have to tell my husband, I, say, I, I, I can feel them filling up, but I don't worry about it. You know, my, all my numbers are good. I check my glucose when I when the scale gets wonky and my glucose is great. My uh, ketones are great. Cindy Meyer. Hey, yes, Casey. Weird weight gain yesterday and today. Up over four pounds. You see, there's something going on, guys. Maybe it's the full moon. I'm serious. I'm not even joking. should get a chart. Okay. Uh, I am going to wrap this up in a few minutes. I do want to bring up something. Um... I usually do a Friday late morning pep talk on YouTube Live. I am making the decision that I am probably going to move that over to for patrons only. Um, I think that's fair and fitting. I will continue to do uh, free YouTube content. And I will continue to have my blog where I write. And I'll continue to do Facebook stuff. But um, I am going to move that over to patrons, patron only. So um, that's that. And if you're interested, I, I'm not trying to make this a commercial, but I did want to let you know. I will do this coming Fridays on YouTube uh, for everybody, if anyone's interested. But after that, I am looking to set it up on patron only. So, And those of you who are patrons who are here, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And I can see several of you right now. Um, Liz Brem, uh, how do I become a patron? You go to Patreon. That's P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash go Peter with Casey. And I'm going uh, to be changing some of the rewards because the content is one thing, but I like to give perks to people depending on their, their level. And I can't tell you how much I appreciate um, all all the patronage. Uh, Terry Farlow, I think you said you're up three pounds. I'm up three pounds due to mm, 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 that time of the month. First time in nine months, <laughs> LOL, oops. <laughs> you know, that time of the month, uh, there was an old line from All in the Family where, you know, Archie Bunker was referring to it as the curse. And Edith says, oh yeah, but except for all friends, the Gilhoolies, the ones with the eight kids next door. Mrs. Gilhooley calls it the blessing. <laughs> Sorry if that was off color for people. Kelly Lassen, do I go on your Facebook page to become a patron? No, and I know it's confusing. Patreon is its own platform. Patreon, P A T 
R E O N dot com slash go keto with Casey. It's a it's a, essentially a closed community. So I have a forum over over there that patrons have access to. It's like Facebook, only it doesn't suck. Um, and everyone that's there really wants to be there by definition. Um, so there's and you get content that only shows up on Patreon. Everyone shares with each other, and then there's certain rewards. There will always be free content. Um, I, I believe in throwing back to the universe. I truly do. Hey, Pamela, you're a patron. All righty. Um, Mary, Mary, thank you as well. I really want off my 10 milligrams of lisinopril blood pressure. Any suggestions? If that's a blood pressure medication, Mary, I will tell you that Dr. Westman, the question came up at a um, support group meeting, FYI, note to myself to bring that up. He said that blood pressure medication, for some reason, is the medication that very often is the last hanger on with his, his patients. He can get them off of insulin and metformin and da, 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 all this other stuff. But very often, blood pressure medications are trickier. So um, I don't have any suggestions other than hanging in there. If anybody else here can, can share, I, thank goodness, never had to take blood pressure medication. I was on the verge of having to take everything, but I never did have to. Pamela Ramsire, up two pounds. Damn, I'm just a hair away from Wonderland. That makes it a little further. That's okay. We're all gonna we're all gonna hold hands together here. We all put on weight. There's a reason. Can't be a coinky dink, right? I hope that following YouTube live videos with me doesn't make people put on weight. That'd be awful. Um, Barbara Tate, Urbana. Oh, here. First time watching live. Thanks for the encouragement, information. Look forward to seeing your vlogs. Thank you, thank you very much for viewing, Barbara. Really appreciate it. Um, the Durham support group meeting is tomorrow evening in Durham, North Carolina. If you are able to attend, please let me know. I, uh, we're having a lot of people show up, it looks like. I just need to give the hotel a head count. It's held at the um, Durham Hilton near Duke on Hillsboro Road. Dr. Eric Westman will be in attendance. He starts talking usually and taking questions usually about 6.30 and talks until about 8 or until I yank him off because he will just talk about this all night long. There is a ketogenic buffet. You are not obligated to purchase it. It's about $18. People who want to eat show up about 5.45, start eating, but you can just show up and listen and participate. So if you can do that tomorrow night, July 11th, it's usually the first Tuesday of every month, but the 4th of July was this month, so it moved to the 2nd. In Greensboro, I will be having a keto support group or a keto meetup in Greensboro on the 25th. Again, that, that date will change going forward in different months. All righty. Um, hi from South Africa. Hello, Henneke Bota. Ladies of, la ladies of lead firearms training for women. If your blood sugar is too low, should I increase carbs? <coughs> Excuse me for coughing. What do you mean by too low? Are you on any medications? If you're on insulin or metformin, look to those and talk with your doctor. If you say it's too low, but you feel really well, it could be that there is a new normal. All the, you know, most of the data that we have as Dr. Westman often reminds us, is based on people who are glucose burners. So all those, what should your blood glucose be? What should your blood pressure be? What should your whatever be? Is based if you're a glucose burner. When you're a fat burner, maybe those numbers are different. Um, okay, 67, mine was 60 the other day. I've been down to 57, felt great. If you feel well, I wouldn't worry about it. If you're taking medication and eat, no, don't increase the carbs to bring up blood glucose unless you have, you know, if, if you're a type 1 diabetic, all bets are off. You talk to a doctor. But as far as that goes, no, I've had very, very low blood glucose. Actually, I feel really good when it's low. Um, okay, so no, oh, you feel terrible. Make sure you're getting enough salt. It, it, it's probably not the carbs, it's probably sodium, magnesium, potassium, all the ums. Make sure you're getting enough sodium. All right, guys? 
Let me say goodbye to my lovely mate. Bye, honey. Do you need anything for the afternoon? No. Okay. Bye. Damn Um. Yeah, drink salty broth, ladies. It's you, You're going to feel terrible more often due to low sodium, magnesium, and potassium. And the sodium, very often, if you increase your sodium intake, will regulate potassium and uh, magnesium. They're all electrolytes, which means they're electro electrically charged. Electrically, electrically charged. Ugh, can't talk. All right. Um, I am going to wrap it up. i got to go join the gym. Uh, thank you, guys. Uh, pickle juice. Yeah, uh, Denise Pearl, a new patron. Thank you so much, Denise. Uh, pickle juice is supposed to work wonders. You know, I don't do it. I, I, I just, well, I was talking to hashtag my friend Jen earlier today. I am going to start the Soleil, which she set me up with. And I haven't done because I'm an idiot. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to try to regulate. All right. Uh, any other, any other, um, any other comments? Uh, okay, you know, people are saying, yeah, uh, Margie M, another patron, check the sodium level in your salt. Yeah, they're not all the same. Margie, um, Susan Cosmos, I love the bouillon. It makes a huge difference. Um, Kelly Lassen, what about bruising? You know, um, I think I bruise a little bit more easily than I used to. And someone said that could be calcium. Is, did, I, did someone here tell me that? Could be calcium? I mean, it's not a problem. It's not like I'm bruising all over. But sometimes I say, where the heck did that come from? Um, somebody, uh, I, I hope you're not being ironic, Wendy, saying, Casey the gym bunny. We'll see. Susan Cosmos, Super Chat, thank you. You are one of the most generous people I've ever encountered. Just because we enjoy seeing you and hearing your messages, thank you. And, um, okay, Pamela Ramsar's pickles help with the nighttime leg cramps. You know what I heard on the cruise? I don't think she's on these live chats, but she's sometimes on the Facebook Live from, from Georgina. She get little um, packets of mustard that you get like, you know, we get a fast food restaurant, little packets of the yellow mustard. She says, keep them next to your bed. If you feel a cramp coming on, quickly rip it open, eat the mustard. And she says, it takes care of it so quickly. I never heard that. Easy enough, right? Some of the, some of the solutions to, to our health issues are so simple. But what should we do when we're trying to get things under control. We want to do triage, figure out what is your biggest problem and address it. And very often, just reducing the carbs will take care of it. Gene O'Connor, calcium is the forgotten electrolyte. Thank you, Gene. Um, Renee Gagnon, I have a friend who does mustard. I, I tell you what, it's amazing. Food is thy, let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. Is that, I have, probably have it backwards. Quoth Hippocrates. Um, okay, hope together right to vitamin K supports appropriate clotting. Low K causes bruising. Does anyone know if beef liver is high in vitamin K? Because we have gotten hooked on beef liver in the house. Um, could be the turmeric in the mustard that helps. Interesting. Okay. All right. Uh, no, I'm not going to. Lori Fisher, <laughs> join a boot, gap, uh, boot camp class at the gym. You will love it. No, I don't think I will. Let me tell you one reason. I have a problem with authority. Always have. Always have. <laughs> and I just don't, I, I just don't think I would. But and I'm going to ease into this. I'm going to do the triage on the exercise. I'm going to figure out what my biggest hang up is and what my biggest goal is. And I'm going to analyze that and I'm going to put my best foot forward. All right. You guys are awesome. <gasps> Frida. Belle Vage just became a patron. I love your videos. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I mean it sincerely. And every week, I'm learning more about how to provide better content to the patrons. It's it's been a it's been a steep learning curve for me. And frankly, I never expected five people to sign up. So I, I, I've been playing catch up. Um, thanks, guys. Reach out to each other. 
I mean, you guys, it looks like you're getting to know each other. Thank you, Barbara Tate, for the $2 super, pledge, uh, super chat. Um, and you know, there are people who are really becoming leaders in, their, in your own sphere of influence, your own people around you, families, co-workers, church members, uh, sometimes strangers. The people, I hear about people who go to their market and the checkout people say, what are you doing? You look so different. And then they see what you're eating because they, they're checking you out. You never know who you might influence. If you're going to influence someone, do it in a positive way. Please do not set false expectations that say, oh, this is so simple. Now, I can say it's the easiest thing I've ever done in my life, but I was so far down mentally and emotionally when I started within my brain. My, my life is nearly perfect, but I was so down in my own brain that anything looked like up to me. I wouldn't want anyone to have that starting point. Wouldn't wish that on anyone. But it takes some doing. Wanda messaged me earlier, you know, a lot of people don't realize that a bite of this and a bite of that and a little bit here and a little bit there tanks you. It's not that it's not that this is and this is a luscious way to eat. But there are certain physiological rules that come into place. You know, someone said, I don't understand. I've been doing this for a really long time and I'm totally stuck. This was someone on the Facebook group, I'm totally stuck. I stick to really strict keto just about every day. You know, I probably only have one cheat day a week. And I replied that I believe your answer is within your question. So it is fairly strict. Once you tweak, you can start to learn where you can not cheat. That's, don't put your mind in this. Cheating, that's not against the law to eat carbs. You know, it's not like you're being unfaithful to your spouse if you eat carbs. You're not cheating. You're simply making a decision to eat carbs. That's your decision. But if you're helping someone, it can, remember, remember how many times that bad it took you. And be gentle with them. All right, guys. Keep your carbs below 20. Total not net. Don't blame keto for what the net carbs did, right? Eat fatty sources of protein. Eat only when you're hungry. Stop when you're satiated. Stop the bleeding. You can do this. If you've already done it, help someone else realize that they can do it. That's what we're all about here, okay? That's what keeps me going. And we can all become centers in our sphere of influence, and person by person, meal by meal, mouthful by mouthful, doctor by doctor, nurse practitioner by nurse practitioner, things will change. It's gonna come from the bottom up though. Y'all, you, oh, Sutton's Days, $5 super chat, thank you. She writes, thank you for the inspiration and motivation on a Monday. <laughs> You will be my first patron channel to support. I appreciate all that you do. Thank you very, very much. I will be back on Friday, 11 a.m. for a pep talk, God willing and the creek don't rise. Saturday morning, Facebook Live at 11 a.m. And we're gonna go from there. Some exciting things are coming. I'm really excited about some stuff, um, opportunities. And I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. And I think you guys, will feel as motivated as I, if you don't already, to impact the lives of those around you. Thanks. TTFN.